So notice, he says, and when you, no, let me go back. Verse 34. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. So what does that mean? That means when you pray, you have to decide right then. That means you have to know God's will. You have to go in the sense, if you're going to pray, you have to pray his will, which means you pray his word, you say his word to him. And as you are praying his word, now he hears you. Why? Because you're praying according to his will. Amen? Does that make sense? And as you do that, now he hears you. And when he hears you, if he hears you, you know you have whatever it is you're asking. Does that make sense? Now, understand, it says we know we have the petitions. Now, a petition does not mean begging. Okay? A petition means, and think about it. See, we use all these words sometimes, and, and we use them different ways. If I said, hey, be sure to stop by the foyer out there. We've got a petition I want you to sign because they're trying to pass a law here, and we don't want that passed, so be sure to sign the petition. You're not thinking, well, I'm going to go sign the prayer. You're not thinking prayer. Isn't that right? Yeah. You're thinking a petition. And what are you doing? You're wanting your voice heard. You're wanting to say something and you want to have weight behind what you're saying. So you're signing a petition for something not to do. Why? Because of a reason that makes that thing wrong. Is that right? That's what you're doing whenever you are praying to God. You are making your voice heard. Why? Because if it ain't heard, it ain't going to be answered. So you have to say it according to his will, according to his word. Now understand, this is not a Lord please. He didn't say that. You, go, you don't find that in people praying like that. Why? Because you're going to the throne of grace boldly. Lord, here's what you said. Yep. Your word is true. I know this is your will. I agree with you. And in the name of Jesus, so be it done. That's a prayer of faith. That's a prayer that gets answered. And notice it's not even a matter of, Lord, if it be thy will. Okay, if you say, if it be thy will, it means you don't know his will, right? If it be thy will is not in the Bible. Most people think it is, it's not, right? And the closest we come is when Jesus was saying, if there's any other way, not my will, but your will be done. See, it doesn't even say if it be thy will there. The only people that ever said things like that, even anywhere close to that, are people that came to Jesus that didn't even know what his will was. Amen? Amen? And if you don't know his will, you can't pray in faith. You got that? So you take the word and you go to him with the word and you sit down or whatever. See, this is why a lot of people, they get mad at me. Why? Because they'll bring up something and they expect me to jump on it right then. Oh, okay. Well, here, let's pray. What? I can do that because I know the Bible well enough that I know his will. And yeah, we can approach those things. But there are some times whenever I hear certain things like, okay, I'll get on this. What does that mean? I'm going to go look up scriptures and I'm going to have a list of things that I can bring to him as precedent. And I'm going to say this situation's going on and God, you know, that ain't right. And we agree it ain't right. Why? Because you said right here. And you know what? You also said over here. And matter of fact, you even said it further over here and you said it four times right here. What am I doing? I'm laying out my case in that sense, right? Now, listen, listen carefully. When I'm doing this, I don't have to go to heaven to do this. You get that? Why? Because I don't have to go to the courts of heaven. Why? Because I'm not seated in the courts of heaven. I'm seated at the right hand of the Father. Amen? Now, understand this. I'm not pleading my case. You get that? What in that sense? I'm not begging God to do something, and I don't have to go there. I don't have to do this weird thing. You know why? Because my dominion is here. And he said, whatever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, right? And literally, the way the Greek reads, it will have already been. What does that mean? That means by the time I say it, I've already found what was bound in heaven. Yep. So I don't have to approach it from that direction or that thing of trying to supplicate God to make him give me an answer. Listen, I know the answer before I ever go to him, right? 
you have to know the answer before you go present the question. Okay? One good rule of lawyers, never ask a question you don't know the answer to. <laughs> Why? Because you're going to get surprised. Yep. And it ain't going to go in your favor. All right? So you take and you direct the conversation according to the word of God. 